In this video, we'll be going over study templates. For convenience, studies can be organized into templates. Each template contains one or more studies with specific settings. And what this allows you to do is, if you have a specific set of studies that you like to use on your charts, instead of applying them one by one each time, which can be tedious, the use of templates makes it quite easy as they are applied as a group. It's just a matter of selecting your studies, creating a template, and then applying them to the chart. So let's create a template here. The first step in creating a template is let's add some studies that we want to use. So I'm going to select a simple moving average. Once you have your study, you can also make the changes to that study and these specific changes will be saved with a template. Okay, so in this case, I would like my SMA to always be green, so I click Create, and then we can add another study, in this case, RSI. And I would want to make this line red, click Create. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Now that we have our studies set the way we want them to, we can create a template. And there are two ways to create a template. One way is from the File, Chart, Template, Save as Template. Or you can click on the Template icon here in the bottom right hand corner and then click on Save as Template. So here I'll give my template a name. I'll just call it SMA RSI. And we have the option here to also include some other chart settings. For instance, we can include the theme, the bar size, the bar type, the bar scheme, extended data, semi-log, and labels. So let's go through each of them here. The theme would refer to the colors you have selected for this chart. In this case, we have a dark background, black. But if I change this to another color, for instance, uh, gray, then that will be applied as well when you apply the template. Bar size, it will remember the bar size that you picked. In this case, it's one day. The bar type, in this case, it's candlesticks. The bar scheme, which refers to the colors of the candles. In this case, uh, blue for bullish and red for bearish. Extended data, so for instance, if you have a pre or post market data showing on your charts, it will car carry over that setting as well. We have semi-log, which can be set in the lower right hand corner here. And then we have labels. In this case, this chart, we decided to show the high value and the low value labels. So if we wanted those to carry through on our template, we would select that as well. So in this case, I want to select everything. And then save as. Now, if I bring up another chart, let's bring up IBM. And in this case, I will do hour. Click OK. Now we can apply the template via the file, chart, template, and then select it. We also have shortcut keys, which we can do for templates. On the Mac and on the PC, you can use Alt plus the number. In this case, on the Mac, it would be Alt 1. Or you can also, of course, bring it up from the bottom right hand corner of the chart where you have the template icon and just selecting it. So let's do that. And now you'll notice that uh, everything is carried over. We have our two studies with their specific changes, this one being green, this one being red. We have our labels, so the labels carried through. The chart theme carried through as well as the bar theme carried through and any extended data options carried through as well. So let's go back. So we have the theme, the bar size, the bar type, which was candlesticks, the bar scheme, labels, uh, semi-log, and extended data. So we, all that's been carried over. Okay, now to remove the template from a chart, you can simply right-click on its label in the top left-hand corner select Edit, and then select Delete. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.